to become an environment for people to just come and hang out, make friends, play video games together. A student organization at the University of Texas at San Antonio is giving students the opportunity to express their passion for video games, plus offering a place where competitive gaming enthusiasts can gather. It's for students who are into electronic sports, also known as eSports. Now, eSports has broken records in recent years. According to a study by the Entertainment Software Association, a U.S. trade association, 2018 was a record-breaking year. Video game sales exceeded $43.4 billion. And according to new research from uh, New Zoo, the 2019 uh, numbers exceed the billion-dollar revenue mark for the first time in uh, for the first time predicted to hit $1.1 billion. That's, that's the revenue prediction, yes. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So in this week's Tech Essay, GMSA at Nine's Tiffany Huertas takes a look at the UTSA group of students whose passion for gaming is so strong, they want it sanctioned by the NCAA. I, I think eSports is starting to overshadow a lot of real world sports just with how much money is being put into it. Inside the University of Texas at San Antonio campus, a group of students meet. Our object is to kill these minions and get gold for them. Their passion for gaming brought them here. Me and my father are huge video game players and computer guys, and so it's just something that kind of innately came. Freshman Keith LeBeau is part of the Roadrunner Gaming Club. Every week, he plays video games for 20 hours or more. There's a lot of people who are kind of alienated in society and stuff, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot better now, but you just kind of bring people together. Some students play for fun, others are into competitive gaming. Esports is basically a competitive video game, and we compete against other colleges. For my League of Legends team, we have them play in their dorm, they play in their computers, we scrim against other schools, and then we play our official matches. The group's vice president got a chance to listen to leaders in college athletics talk about the future of the sport. We attended the Big 12 conference last year, and they were talking about the possibility of esports being a, a, an actual NCAA program. And with the recent announcement of Port San Antonio's Innovation Center, which will include a space for eSport events once completed, students are excited about local possibilities. More opportunities and places that can host eSports events and help foster that community will make it better. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.